Got my new lens today. So I've been trying this lens for a while now, the 1635G, and I love it so much. It's so sharp, it's really good for vlogging, and decided I should get one myself. So yes, welcome to the family, guys. <laughs> Anyhow, welcome back to the channel, guys. Nick and Helmy. Today, I just wanna have a little chat with you guys in terms of the direction of the whole vlog, the whole channel. I know a lot of you guys have been messaging us in terms of are we still doing long form? And the answer is yes, we are. There's a lot of things that we've been doing on TikTok and Instagram, and that's why we've kind of been neglecting it a little bit, but we're trying to get everything back to speed again uh, with a more different creative direction. So last week I was invited to the Sony uh, festival called Kondo in Port Douglas, and where I met a lot of different creators out there, and, and this is kind of what happened. Uh, we were actually invited by Sony to an event here in Cairns, Port Douglas. So this whole week, I'm gonna be here. Uh, we're gonna play around with a lot of the Sony gear, which is actually the camera I'm using right now here. So yeah, it's gonna be really interesting. It's been a long day. We just checked in uh, all the group here and we had like a three hour flight. Woke up at four o'clock, so I'm really, really tired right now. And behind me here is the hotel we're staying at, Sheraton uh, Grand Mirage Resort. It looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, let me show you guys a little bit of the resort and room tour. Oh yeah, this is nice. There you can just see the garden. It really feels like Bali, you know? The fan, the mosquito nets that you can put as well. That's just like such a tropical feel, you know? And then it's so humid too here. So there's nothing much to do today. Today's the first day and I think we've got a free time until five o'clock. Kando means immersion in Japanese, so um, we feel like we're filling the world with emotion through experiences like this, and that's what this event is for. Okay, it's five o'clock now, and um, we're supposed to meet up here at the lobby. And it looks like everybody's here. My goodness! Now we can see how many people actually came to this event. So we got Jeannie here. <laughs> Enjoying our food. <laughs> and Bridie's here too. Yes. <laughs> and it's Janice. Hi. All right, it's uh, five o'clock in the morning now. It's day two here at uh, Sheraton and also Port Douglas and we're gonna be hunting some crocodile. So apparently there's three activities that we could do in the morning, uh, either the hot air balloon, uh, which I didn't go because it's four o'clock in the morning, I decided not to wake up another day at four o'clock. So this one is slightly later, 5.45, we left the hotel, so that's not too bad. And then there's also like a bit of a walk around the gorge as well, but you know, crocs, I've never seen crocs before, so I mean, not on a river, definitely, except for the zoo. So this should be very, very interesting, quite an experience. So 
so good to be back. It was such a chilly morning, but so happy that I got to see the crocs though. We got to see two, yeah. After roaming around for about an hour, yeah, we finally got to see it. So not bad, quite a good uh, treat at the end of uh, the river cruise there. So just change here to the wetsuit and my swimmers, because uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of underwater activity now uh, where we get to play with the casing. This would be very interesting. Um, don't know what their plan is, but I am excited. This is all the camera gear loan station here, so I can borrow any lens. Look at that. <laughs> and this is Steven. Hey man, how you doing? <laughs> what do you got going there? A bit of a vlog. Yeah. Oh, you making a vlog? Yeah. Awesome. You having fun? <laughs> yes. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Okay, and I'm back in Sydney and I got my other half now. <laughs> Tell me he's here, yeah. Okay. I'm hungry now. It's uh, pretty late in the afternoon and apparently there is a new uh, clay pot place, right? Mm -hmm. But Helmi has already eaten it earlier. Uh, yeah. I came kind of late because she had an acupuncture uh, appointment. Yeah. yeah. So this place is quite new. It's actually in the Westfield food court. And they also do not only clay pot rice, they also do uh, rice paper rolls. Ah. So that's also interesting. So it's actually underneath the Hawker Lane area in Westfield. But this is really, really cool here. People love to eat are always the best people. So true. Right? So, 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 so true. So, so, so true. We ordered the tender beef clay pot rice with Lao Ganma sauce. If you know what Lao Ganma is, it's like that uh, Chinese yeah. chili oil uh, that's quite famous. It's got that grandma uh, logo or sign, isn't it, Helly? Yeah, 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 yeah that one. So I, I would look at that, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try that. There's a couple of uh, beef slices here, and underneath, I think it's tofu. So I can see a little bit of the Lao Ganma uh, chili there, uh, on top of the beef there. And then they give you, I think this is like a soy sauce. Mm. Okay, let's pour a little bit there. Very fragrant. The rice, the beef, the tofu, and just steaming hot. See, this is the trick to clay pot. You gotta dig deep down because that's where the good stuff is. That's where the crispy rice is. Uh, I'm gonna take it out. And you can hear it as you scrape down the bottom, it's like... Oh, that's so good. Oh. Well, that's hot, but like immediately you can taste the Laogama chili. Oh, it's so good. And then, like, the, the, the beef is really, really tender, actually. Yeah, this, this beef is actually super chewy, super tender, really bouncy. And then the soy sauce just gives the rice an even more flavor. And, and I can taste a little bit of that crispiness underneath the, underneath the, the rice there. All, all the crispy bits from the bottom, like. Oh man, it's really good with everything. So, Helmi thinks it's a bit spicy, but I thought it was just okay. I think like the chili ratio uh, to the savoriness, to the, you know, to the to the meat dish is actually pretty good. I mean, it's just enough to kind of glaze it. But yeah, the, the, the aroma really comes from the soy sauce that you know, just sips down into, into the rice. If you scrape the side, you get the, all the crispy bits, the burnt rice. That's the best. That's literally the best. If you can get that with this, with, with the meat, with the tofu, you get like that crispy texture in between the, the tenderness. It's really good. Mm. 
Okay, so we're in Sar Hill right now uh, because our friend is opening up her store, yes. Yukino, and you've probably seen her before in our previous, 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 previous yeah. vlog. It's been some time <laughs> now, but now she's opening up a store like. Also, I think she was in. Oh, she was in Sar Hills. Sar Hills, but yeah. she's also moving closer to the city now. Yeah. And it's just actually down the road behind us here. And if you love Japan and you love the arts, the culture, the craft as well, the craft, and yeah. Then, then this is the place to go. All right, here we are. This is the store. Um, don't know if you guys can see. It's pretty dark. It's um, 148 uh, Golden Street. This is Yokino. All the delicious Japanese sweets here. Mochi. Yay, congratulations! Oh, you look so beautiful. So last week we were here and we did an incense workshop and yeah. that's my penguin. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Oh, cinnamon. So we are currently at Panzer's and there's this new pizza place which is now one of our favorite. It's called Bisep... How do you call it? Bisperia. Bisperia. It's short for Bridge Street, Street Pizzeria. Bisperia. Yeah. So it's right next to the train station. That's right. Panzer's. It's a little hole in a wall and it becomes our one of our favorite now. Yeah. Uh, besides Westwood, of course, in yes. Newtown. And so we wanted Second to show time. you guys before we end this episode, this is gonna blow your mind because it's a really good pizza place. Yeah, so first time we tried the hot pepperoni and also Uncle Charlie. Both of them are good. Then we post the video and someone told us to try the um, truffle, mm. the mushroom. So we are gonna get that. Thank okay, you. yeah. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> and it is advisable to call them ahead and then you can pick up. So we only queue for what 10 minutes which is lucky and this is it we got it let me try whoa look at that huge slice okay mm. very nice crusty pizza and it's quite thin as well and the cheese is so nice with the truffle, it smells really good, but not overpowering. And yeah, the mushroom also nice as well. But I actually still prefer the Uncle Charlie. It's much better. And this is it, this is Uncle Charlie. Look at that, that's rich. Now you can see the cheese there, and then uh, this, I thought the first time we ate this, I thought this was chili, but it's actually in pork sausage. Yeah. Uh, spicy pork sausage. Then you got some of the ricotta here, the normal cheese, parmesan, and also some honey. So you can see there's a little bit of oil and glaze there on top. That's honey, yeah. So if you love Westwood Newtown, that's kind of like their own version of their honey yeah. pizza right there. There really is a nice way to eat this, but I think this is my way of eating pizza right here. You can really taste the ricotta cheese, it's so creamy. Right after that, you get that sweetness from the honey, and a spicy kick from that pork sausage, and then a crispy tin-based pizza. Wow, this is actually really good, really delicious. One of the spot that um, became our favorite because of just how simple it is, but the richness of flavor is here. And the way they cook it, obviously traditional, love that. Really lovely pizza, it's called Bisperia, so check it out if you really want to try it. I think it's worth it, and if you, especially if you love Westwood uh, pizza from Newtown. Anyhow, thanks so much for watching guys. This is a weird place to kind of close the episode because <laughs> it's raining outside, we don't want to get wet, and yeah, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we will see you next time. So don't forget to punch the like button, subscribe, so you get notified when we post our new food and travel videos. So see until ya. then, ciao!